I built another circuit that allows you to hook up to the uh, tank circuit, that being the uh, LC circuit, and uh, tune through the uh, broadcast span. So um, you're listening to it now as I uh, tune through with just a wire antenna about 10 feet in length here in the shop. But my friend, my word is true and plain. They're in all the time. They know that if they lose the games on Monday or Tuesday, that uh, they just continue on with their season. So, but it was intense. So you can see the simplistic design here. I'm using a TA7642. It's a one-chip AM radio circuit. And if you follow over to the left, you can see the tank circuit. In this case, I've just got a couple alligator clips here that allows me to attach back to the existing tank circuit that I want to test or validate, that being the antenna coil and the uh, tuning condenser. And again, an external wire antenna can be uh, used if uh, needed. The uh, voltage divider there above, the 100Ks, that uh, places about 0.7 volts here. On the uh, output side, which is the uh, voltage input to the TA7642. And you can see I've got a, a 10K volume control here. On the input side of the LM386, in addition to the uh, 1K resistor that lets me vary the gain itself. So as you can see, it's a very uh, simple design, easy to build, and kind of handy for the shop for that quick validation, just to make sure that the antenna coil is uh, actually working and the uh, receiver works uh, fairly well. Again, if you want to turn this into a standard AM radio, you can do so. Just uh, make your coil there, a ferrite antenna, a tuning condenser, and again the uh, selectivity of the TA7642 uh, is uh, somewhat limited, but uh, still useful for those local stations. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. I'll place the uh, schematic or URL for the schematic in the uh, show more or video description.